Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Midori here. We are about to unbox something I've been looking forward to for like so long. I don't even know how to explain. Um, it is the honey box from the Bumblebee Botanical. Um, the creator is Bumblebee Fern on YouTube. Go check her out. This is not sponsored. I am super duper excited just to actually like get into this box. Um, it was, it came in a larger box, but it was hard to maneuver. So I did take it out, but I did want you to to see all that is that is this box so like the spine of it says ancestral connections which was the theme for this month um the eye with the skulls oh my god it's just it's amazing let me see if i can like lift it up so you guys can see it just a little bit better oh that is so cool so anyways, without further ado, let's get into this. I will have some announcements at the end of this video, uh, so please stay tuned all the way to the end, and thank you so much for supporting us on our journey. So here's the box. It opens up like this, and those are all the goodies that when you first walk, uh, when you first look into it, I'm just kind of shocked, like, I, I kind of peeked. But like I'm like oh my gosh, so I decided that I'm gonna move this kind of like this so you guys can still see what I'm grabbing. Um, I don't even know what to grab first. I think I'm gonna grab this first since it's right up here in the very front, and I'll have like little pictures of what each thing is. Oh, oh this is like heavy. Oh, this is so cool. It's like flip a coin. Oh. It's like flip a coin, yes or no. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to grab this out because it looks like well, there's a beautiful black feather with it. Oh, I think this is a candle. Let me see. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, it's the, it's the thing that you would normally get. The shows like what probably what you got in the letter let me just struggle on camera oh yeah there's definitely a candle okay i see it peeking out oh it just flipped on me so here is all the stuff that you get and i'm, I'm just gonna like not show you too much because i don't want you, i'll i'll definitely put a picture of this in the um at the end of this and i kind of want to go through what each thing is um try that differently so this right here that we got is the an uh, questions answered coin this simple tool is a very easy way to gain some knowledge um to question to questions you may have the coin is a perfect tool for both beginners and those more advanced on their path because it can be easily carried and used inconspicuously. Simply ask a question and flip or toss the coin to find your answer. You can further connect with this tool by charming it and keeping it on your person. Oh, so that's really cool. So you're supposed to keep this on you. And then if you have a question that's yes or no, you flip a coin. That's really cool. All right, let me see what's in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, it's messy. Oh, that is so pretty. It's got like gold flakes in it, and it looks like herbs and wax. Um, that's a different color than the actual candle. Oh, that's so. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Let me lay it here. Let's see what it says about the candle. Do, do, do. I'm trying not to like glance too much at what it is, so I want to be surprised. Okay. Blood of my blood beeswax candle. This handmade organic beeswax candle has been infused with the energies to aid you in your ancestral connection journey. Anoint it with oils and herbs to enhance the communication with your roots. This candle is a great addition to your ancestral altar. Orange, cinnamon, and vanilla help to open new pathways, attract positivity positivity in your life and of course bring a warm sense of the autumn use this candle with the blood of my blood spell in this box and begin your enlightenment and healing adventure oh so they just told us that we have a spell in here oh that's so cool i'm like super excited about that mm -hmm. 
That is so cool. Alright. Next thing. What should we grab? What should we grab? I'm gonna grab this satchel. Oh, this is heavy. It feels like it feels like a rock or a crystal. It's big. And it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got here. If I could get it open. I'm struggling today. It's been that week. Have you guys ever felt like that? That it's been like a week and you're just like, oh, I could only survive. Ooh, this is pretty. It's got like different colors, layered, and it's like real smooth. But it's, I love unfinished stone and crystals. They're probably my favorite versus the tumble. Oh, that is so pretty. I wonder what stone that is. I'm gonna put this like that so I get this out of the way. Let me see, what stone do we got here? Let's see. Wait, it's wood? No. Is that what? I'm looking on these little sheets. Yeah, this is petrified wood. That op opalized wood. This beautiful specimen has been chosen for its ability to help you guide you in the deep wisdom which exists within your family line. This stone has also been blessed with chrysanthemum and peppermint oil to open your mind and senses. Petrified wood is created with hundreds of feet of volcanic ash falls upon a forest and petrifies the wood. After the wood has been fossilized, if a lake forms over the basin of the petrified wood, the water brings silica and other materials to the long buried trees. These minerals then form the beautiful colors presented in your opalized wood. These specimens were personally chosen for the ancestral connection box because of the strong connection they have with the generation, generational growth of the forest and roots. Petrified wood can long be connected to ancestral work because you can follow the rings of the, of the trees into the past. These pieces have a special place in my heart as they have such a strong connection to the trees and earth. Just like our phoenix, they rise from the ashes. So that's petrified wood. That is crazy. Like, that is so freaking stinking cool. Like, I'm now looking, trying to figure out. It is such a pretty specimen. I wish I could get this. It, my pictures aren't even going to probably be, just uh, give it justice. Oh my God, that is so, oh my God, Bubble V Fern, you did such a, oh, I love that. That is so cool. I don't know if anybody lives like in Maine, but they have a petrified wood uh, ocean, uh, beach and it is so cool to go to. So if you've never been up there, definitely check those out. All right, what are we gonna do next? I'm gonna close my eyes and kind of dig, dig, oh, dig. Let me see, what is Oh, wow. That is really cool. Don't you use these for spirit boards? And you can definitely tell it's been handmade. That is so pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe. It's so light and weight, but like, I love the triple moon. And like, there's herbs in it. Oh, that is, that is so pretty. The detail of it, just like the box. Let me see, what, um, I'm not really, I know you use it with a spirit board, but I am not very um, familiar with what those are called. Planchet, that's what that's called. Okay, so Spirit Guide Black Walnut Planchet. This planchet was designed to work as both a communicator and a piece of artwork that can inspire you to work more closely with your guides. Within the eye is a resin piece with a rose for protection and warmer to attract those who have crossed into the spirit world. Rose is so often used as an offering to the dead and acts in this way so you use as you use your planchet. Ouija boards, or like the or as I call them spirit boards, are a taboo to topic in the world because there are so many ways to use them irresponsibly. This piece was chosen and created in our personal workshop so that it could be admired as a decoration if you're uncomfortable with using it as a tool. 
matching boards will be available on the Botanica if you're interested in diving deeper into this form of divination. Oh, so you if you are really into spirit boards or Ouija boards, you got the planchette, you can order the spirit board on her website once it gets up. That's really cool. I might maybe. Savannah uh, Blaze has always wanted one, and I, like she said, I'm kind of uncomfortable with those in my house. But to each their own. If you use it responsibly, it's the way to go. Um, I thought I saw something about the box, this box right here, because I think that's like the big surprise is that big box, maybe? Because it's just ridiculously cool. Ancestral Connection Black Walnut Box. So it's made out of black walnut. This box was designed and created to hold all of your ancestral communication supplies and treasures. I hope you enjoyed this not so little surprise and keep it for future use. This box is made to stimulate a book that you can keep on your shelf so future boxes can store e easily as well. I can't wait to build up our honey library of book boxes with you. Oh, that's cool. So that's kind of like a hint that she's going to have more of these. Oh. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the other boxes. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, that is so... Okay, that's so cool. That's so cool. Alright, so I'm seeing like three... Three things right here, so I'm gonna grab... Ooh, what's this? To My Roots Ancestral Collection Natural Tea. Ooh, okay. So it's loose leaf tea. Oh, that's pretty. Keep saying pretty, sorry. What is in there? I see cinnamon. Oh, I, okay. Let's see what, what's in that tea. Grab. To my roots tea. This ingredient of this tea has been chosen to be both grounding and protective, as well as help you to attract the spirits of your ancestors. This tea can substitute as a caffeine-free coffee. Uh, oh yeah, caffeine-free coffee substitute. Oh, that's cool. So I'm glad that she says that it's caffeine. Sometimes you'll get teas in these subscription boxes, and they don't tell you if they're caffeine-free or not. So I actually really appreciate that she says that. Um, it says, okay, so let me start back over. This tea can substitute as a caffeine-free coffee substitute by brewing and adding cream and sweetener to your liking. Fair warning, before adding cream and sweetener, this tea is surprisingly similar to, in the taste to black coffee. It may be more better than your average tea. Another more traditional way dandelion root tea is used is to brew a cup before bed, then leave the steaming cup on your nightstand. This will encourage your ancestors to visit you in your dreams. All herbs used in this tea are organic and ethnically sourced, then mixed and bottled with intentions. Okay, and then the ingredients are roasted dandelion root, chicory root, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and bay leaf infusion. So I do like that she gives you what's actually in this tea. So now I gotta like see if I can open it. Oh, okay. Can we just talk about this packaging though? This is so stinking cute. Oh, that smells. Oh, that smells so good. I might have to brew a cup of that tea. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, oh, that's going to be great. I can't wait. Um, so let me put that right there. This herb right here, and I'm just like, I'm staring at it. And let me see. It is helichrysum. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like yellow. It's like a little baby flower. Um, and her, la her labels are gorgeous. Uh, planet is moon, element water, uses, generalization, trauma, healing, and self-compassion. I like that she puts what the use is for this flower this herb is um oh my gosh how to that's i don't have this in my apothecary thank you bumblebee fern i've never seen that before so let me see what this is for this herb is known as the everlasting flower and it is a beautiful addition to your ancestral apothecary is also referred to as immortal this herb helps us to transform from the rooms wounds that come through as we dive into our ancestral history and its stories. This herb has a strong connection to the feminine and earth and is a great botanical for healing, self-compassion, generalized trauma, and restoration. These flowers are also a beautiful and everlasting offer for your ancestral altar. That's really cool. Ooh, let's see what else. There's another. You know what? Let me smell this first because I really want to. I like that these are easy to come off. I'm not struggling. 
Oh, it's got such a mm, mellow yet earthy smell to it. Not very, I like that. It's more earthy than florally. Let's see, where's this jar? What is this? From the Ashes Ancestral Collection Natural Incense. Oh, it's loose incense. I don't have any loose incense. Um, okay, down in the comments below, whoever uses loose incense, please tell me how to use it. I don't know how to use it. I use uh, the sticks and I use the cones, but I've never had loose incense before. This is so cool. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so afraid that I'm gonna like pop these open and they're gonna spill everywhere. Oh my god, that smells so good. It's almost like a spice to it. Oh, okay, gotta read about it. Got to read about it. Let's see. From the Ashes Ritual Incense. This loose incense is is can be added to candles. Oh, okay. So it can be added to candles or burned on a charcoal disc to release the deep energies within. This blend is intuitively created for a woodsy sense and resonance to embrace your journey in ancestral connections and healing. Wormwood, blue lotus, sage, and cedar are the main ingredients of this incense. With undertones of, let's see, oh, of this herb right here and other herbs and floral. Use this incense during from the ashes which will include it in this box for a beautiful experience. So we definitely have a spell in here, guys. I'm kind of excited that we have a ritual spell in here. Let me see. I see this box and I'm like, I'm scared to open it because like I'm like, oh, I hope it is what I think it is. Oh, okay, you know what, bite the bullet. Let's do this. Oh my God. That is amazing. You guys don't even know how much I wanted one of these. Like something that she created like with resin. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, thank you so much, girl. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I like want to put it on right now, but I know you guys want to see it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's see what, what this has to say about this. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Ancestral Guidance Pendulum Necklace. Oh, it's a pendulum. Oh, that's cool. This necklace has spell crafted to help you connect with your guides and duos as a pendulum to find clarity in the answers you seek. Within the resin crystal is 24 karat gold, roses for love and protection, wormwood for spirit and connection, labradorite for grounding, psychic ability, and divination. This necklace is also charmed to create a protective and peaceful aura around your divination space. To connect further with your necklace, you can sleep with it or hold it in meditation to seek to sync with its energies. If you wish to use your necklace as a pendulum, wrap the top of the chain around your index finger so that around six inches of the chain hangs down. Ask it to be calm so that it centers itself. Then begin asking yes or no questions that you know the answer to in order to find which direction it swings for yes, no, and unknown. You may then cast a circle around yourself for protection and begin to work with your pendulum. Note, an appropriate amount of caution must be taken when attempting to connect with spirits. Pendulums can also help you uncover subconscious truths about yourself, so have fun with it and practice spiritual protection. Okay, so I like that she talks about pendulums and how to actually use them. Oh, this is so pretty. Guys, I want to put this on so bad right now. You have no idea how much I really wanted something like this. Oh, thank you, girl. You have no idea. Okay, I'm like I'm nervous to see what else is in there. There's like so much stuff in here. And this, this is like fun just to try to get into. Let's see. There's another jar here. We'll go for the jars. So I think this stuff is her apothecary because like this is like multiple boxes in one. Um, so I think that's what this is. I could be wrong, but I think that's what this is. What is this? Guardian and social natural salt. Oh, ritual salt. Ritual salt. Oh, so this is. Oh, this is pretty. Is there? A, this is really pretty. I'm gonna go. Oh, okay, this is my jam. <laughs> as soon as I smell it, they're so, it's like minty. I love mint. 
I love anything that's mint. This feels, this is so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh wait, I thought I heard something. What is that? I like dig in here. Oh yeah. There's a, is this smoky? Smoky quartz? That's what that looks like. Oh, so she put a stone in here so it, it enhances it and protects it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I want to use this so bad. This smells so good. Um, let's read about this ritual salt. That is, oh, I'm like digging all these like little jars. Guardian Ritual Salt. This beautiful blend has a base of dead sea salt for its purification healing properties. The herbs in this blend help connect and open your senses to aid in your ritual and communication. Buried within is a natural smoky quartz point aimed to lift any fear or negativity. This salt can be used in the baths for casting circles for your spells and rituals. The peppermint in this mix can help you open up to messages and connect to energies around you. Take a breath, clear your mind, open up to the wisdom and available availability to you. Oh, I knew it, Peppermint. I love mint. Mint is like the best, and the smoky quartz is amazing. Okay, the next thing I am going to grab, I see a little label right here. Oh, it's a little skull! Oh, that's super cute. Flowers on the grave, ancestral natural salt? Salt or oil? It looks like a little, like cuticle oil kind of thing. It's got a bunch of herbs in it. Oh, this is cool. I want to smell it. I'm like all about smelling things today. Oh, that smells really good. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Okay, what is this? Let's find out. Flowers on the Grave Offering Oil. This oil was created to use as an offering oil or ritual oil in your spirit ancestral work. It contains six different flowers chosen for their properties of connection and guidance along with gold herbs oils from the botanica. The vision for Flowers of the Grave was for it to be used as an offering oil to leave for your ancestors when you visit them or even on your altar and candles. This oil contains warm work and should be used tropically if pregnant or nursing and is not for consumption. That's, I love that she warns you and gives you notes about each item that she's like giving you. That's really cool. Like I actually really like this. I like that it's like not just like a plain jar that it's like a little baby skull. That's really cute. Okay, let's see. Uh, dig, 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 dig. Oh, there's stuff on the bottom. Let me see. There's like, okay, I'm gonna grab this. Is this what I think it is? Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay, so, let me see, is it? Yeah, it is cat. Oh my God, okay, so I totally saw this and thought of my bunny. This is uh, Wolf in Time. Um, it's another subscription box, but she does artwork on YouTube. Definitely go check her out, not sponsored. She makes amazing art, and she also has a subscription box as well that is amazing. Um, but oh my God, this is so pretty. It looks like a hawk. So I'm gonna open this up because I've noticed like when I've tried to put these up on previous videos, it gets like reflective -y. That's a word. And then you guys really can't see it. So let me move some stuff around. So we'll put it right here. That is so pretty. Oh, oh my God, that is a gorgeous artwork, cat. if you're watching this. Oh, that is so pretty. Let me see. Okay, so let's see what it says about the artwork. Let me see, let me see. Rebirth Ignited Original Watercolor Painting by Kat Grady. Yeah, so wolfintime.com, totally called it. I love her artwork. This inspiring artwork by Kat from Wolf and Time in the Lunar Loft depicts a phoenix rising from the ashes. The phoenix as a totem animal represents rebirth and undying wisdom, which is why it was chosen by Kat and I for an ancestral guide. The phoenix is also a symbol of hope and a burning light in the darkness. This light can help lead us out of the activity 
and renew us with the energy we've prayed during the dark times. The phoenix is an immortal animal which is reborn from the ashes of its death. Let rebirth ignite, stoke the fire burning within you, and act as your guide to the knowledge of the past lives and generations. Oh my gosh, I absolutely adore that it's a phoenix. I thought it was a hawk, but it's a defeat. Oh, I, I'm going to have to put it somewhere. I'm going to like have to make like a wall just for Kat's artwork because I absolutely adore her artwork. Um, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see. Okay, I see this. All right, let me grab. I almost, I see two, two more things, two big more things. I think this is all just stuffing now. I'm making a mess now. So here's some, oh, yeah, I'm making a mess now. <laughs> Part of my mess. So I have a feeling this is for the, um, for uh, your scholar's kit. I'm because there's a scholar's kit in here too, which I got her digital scholar's kit uh, last month uh, for self-love and oh my God, I absolutely adore it. And that's what this all looks like. I was like, I don't want to open it because I don't want to make a mess, but then I kind of want to open it so you guys can see what it is. What I'll probably do is maybe lay it all out and take a picture of it for you guys to see while I'm playing with it right here. That way you guys can see exactly what it's made out of. Like what it is. Oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. So I've never really... Oh, so it's all a bunch of like little things. I don't want to mess anything up. Of um, that you can use in your book of shadows. Oh, this is stuff so cool. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm making a mess. I don't want to like like ruin any of it, but like just kind of looking at it. Oh, I'm gonna like lay it on that little thing over there. Oh, this is cool, and it's got like little like. You know this reminds me of this reminds me of like scrapbooking or like you know where you take like a magazine and you cut out words to represent yourself. That's what this looks like to me. Oh, it's the will of the year. Oh, that's so cool. See, I'm trying to go through them all a little bit. I'm gonna have to take more time looking through these, but this is this is so cool. I've never done this kind of stuff before, so I'm very interested in learning how to. Um, if you guys want to do like a scrapbooking or book of shadows type um video or something on the discord channel let me know i think this is the rituals yeah these are the ritual spells oh those are cool oh this is this is awesome this is totally cool let me see like i said i don't want to lose any of it because i want to utilize it that is Oh, that's so cool. I've never really gotten to do anything like that before. So this is cool. Um, let me see what it says about it. Uh, ancestral Connection Scholars Kit. This month's Scholars Kit was created to document your experiences and your ancestral journey. Including in this kit are tags, um, periphery, stickers, and papers to facilitate your process. Use the provided journaling paper to create an ancestral spread and for your personal information on Samhain. We will be creating these spreads together on a Zoom meeting at a later date, so be sure to keep an eye on your email. Please sign up for our email on the bubble bbotanica.com to get more updates and notifications. Oh, okay, so there's another thing in here. Let me see. Oh, yep, right there at the very bottom. It's almost the same color as the box. Okay. Let me make a mess. Oh, oh, it's like the same as like on the box. Oh, so okay, so she's gonna that's a really cool thing about her scholars kit is she you not only do you get the stuff for the scholars kit, but you also have a zoom meeting on how to use these items. Oh, and there's a prayer on here and your altar, like what you should have on your altar. Oh, this, okay, this is really cool, guys. So she gives you stuff to do this for your book. Oh, and I know that, um, so this is the page she's talking about. Okay, so when you order this box, it'll ask you what size of sheet you want for your book of shadows. And so there's three different sizes. So that's, this is the size I chose that, I think it's an eight by 11. I am super excited. 
Oh my gosh. So this is all that I got for the Honey Box Ancestral uh, Guide. Um, I'm super duper excited. Like this is this box is worth every little penny. Um, I think I spent a little under a hundred for it. I would totally get this again in a heartbeat. Um, like I am speechless. Like this is like this is probably my favorite by far. And then the second is of course Cat's artwork. I am gonna use utilize like every single bit of this. I'm gonna have to. I have a feeling Blaze is gonna come in for this though. But this is amazing like thank you so much bumblebee fern this was beyond my expectations of what this box was going to be i am floored this is this is so amazing like so amazing um okay well i'll have all the information about her boxes they're not a monthly subscription i think that they're going to be like a month month and a half out because she takes time to really create these boxes for us so um i will definitely have the information down below I would definitely like I said I would I'm gonna have a list of youtubers that you should go check out that are amazing um Kat Bumblebee Fern Hannah all of you I just I think that um this is such a wonderful community and I am super excited to see what her next box is um what else thank you all for joining me today with all the unboxing of the honey box ancestral guide box I'm super duper happy with this uh, I'll have more updates. We are doing the Moonspell uh, book for the month of November. So if you want to join the Discord channel to join the book club, please let us know down below. I'll have my Discord name uh, there where you can add me as a friend or you can just message me on any of the social media platforms and I can get back with you. Uh, definitely I'm going to get this box again once she launches out the next one. Um, if you want to see more unboxings like this, please let me know down below. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more knowledge base, so we're going to take all the herbs that I get from all these unboxings and do videos on those because I want to like learn about what we get and like and so like if you get these boxes, you know what else can you use for these? So, but if you guys have any ideas on what kind of videos you want, please let me know down below. Again, thank you so much for supporting us on this journey. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and day and week and blessed be thanks for joining us bye